So I asked you guys for a few weeks ago if you guys would like to see more 3D related content like 3D modeling and stuff like that and you said yes. So in this video we're gonna do a beginner's guide to how you use Blender more efficiently with Unity. And this is specifically going to be Blender 2.8 and Unity 2019. If you guys want to see more 3D modeling related content like even 3D modeling tutorials let me know in the comments because I'm really interested in that kind of stuff. So before we get into Blender and Unity this video is sponsored by Simmer.io. Simmer Simmer.io is a website where you can upload your Unity games. It's incredibly easy to use as you can register on their website and deploy your game as WebGL in Unity. Then you just have to drag and drop the WebGL folder into Simmer and that's it. Simmer is also a very fast website, allowing your players short loading times no matter where in the world they're located. It's also completely free to use Simmer actually, so you don't pay anything. And on top of that, the creator Rocco wants to enable monetization so you can monetize your work and get paid for it. You can use our link in the description or go to simmer.io forward slash Saiku to get started with uploading your projects. The first 20 people to sign up using our link will also get access to a four hour long Udemy course valued at $119 which is for mastering Unity WebGL. I would like to give a huge shout out to Simmer.io for sponsoring this video along with our Patreons Richard Stans, Kupla, Flu Joey, Beard or Die, MakeAGame.com, Couch Ferret, Gilherma Leandro, AcademyOfGames.com, Terrorrift.com, and Glasswheel Entertainment. Thanks to your support on Patreon, along with Simmer.io for sponsoring this video. Once again, I'm able to make more content. All right, so you better get Blender and Unity running because it's content time. Okay, so we're here in Blender 2.8 and I just realized this is the first time I'm recording with the software on this channel. That's actually pretty cool. So one thing I want to get started with is the hotkeys and I'm sure you guys are super used to either using Blender hotkeys and find it hard when you get into Unity or vice versa, you're used to the ones in Unity and find it hard in Blender. But that is normal though because it took me a long time to get used to controls in Blender after using Unity for years too, so it's totally normal. So the most important keys for controlling Unity are the Q, W, E, and R keys, which allow you to move, transform, rotate, and scale game objects. These keys are however different in Blender, so let's take a look at that. In Blender, S is used to scale objects, G to transform, W to select, and R to rotate. Now, if you feel like the difference in hotkeys are breaking up your flow and slowing you down, you can change them in both Blender and Unity. Using Unity 2019.1 and above, we now have the shortcut manager added as an option. I also have a full beginner friendly tutorial to the shortcut manager, which is a part of Unity Beginner's Guide to Unity tutorial series, which I'm going to link in the description if you want to check it out. But to cover this very quickly, in Unity, you can go to edit, then enter the shortcuts window. And in here, you can create new shortcuts or change the default hotkeys of Unity. So we can now enter the tools category. And in here, we can change the keys used to view, move, rotate, scale, rect, transform, and more. We can also go in the 3D viewport category and change what keys we use to move in the scene view. So if you're used to Blender and not to Unity, you can change the hotkeys for Unity to be the same as the ones in Blender. You can also do the same with Blender, so say if you're like me and you're used to Unity but not to Blender, you can enter Blender and then go to Edit, then enter Preferences, and in here we can go into Key Map Settings. In this window, we can search for any kind of hotkey, like for instance size, and change the hotkey for it from here. We can also use the categories to fold and unfold all kinds of shortcuts we wish to tweak. There were also some shortcuts or hotkeys changed in Blender 2.8, so just keep that in mind in case you realize that some of the shortcuts you're used to from earlier versions of Blender do not work anymore. For instance, toggling fly mode is now changed from shift F to shift accent grave, which accent grave I didn't even know that was a key like what is the accent grave and then I looked up and it's apparently this key right here By the way, if you guys want to check out the full details and patch notes of blender 2.8 and the shortcut changes that were introduced I'm going to leave their official blog post in the description box of this video So we were talking about fly mode and for those of you who are used to unity and not to blender once again fly mode Is what's used in blender to reproduce flying in unity using right mouse button and moving with the double WASD keys. It seems that they made fly mode harder to find in Blender now, but all you have to do as a workaround is in Blender, you can click view, then go down to navigation, 
and right click on fly navigation. Then you simply pick assign shortcut and just assign something in here. Honestly, I don't know why they changed the fly mode or even changed the hotkey to begin with or made it harder to find. Like it's literally one of the most used features of Blender. Um, still they changed it, whatever, for whatever reason. I don't know, Blender why? <laughs> so now in order to use fly mode, you just have to hit the key you picked as a shortcut, but just once. This will toggle on fly mode. And now we can look around using our mouse, just like in Unity and move with the WASD keys. So then after moving with the camera, you can either hit the left mouse button, which will let you stay at your new position or hit the right mouse button that will return you to your old position. In Unity, as you know, as you might know rather, <laughs> if you're not used to Unity, you just hold down the right mouse button and then move around and it will let you stay there. But in Blender, it's kind of like an undo <laughs> action. I don't know. Is that a word? Oh my God. It is, but it's not the correct one. God damn it. But what I mean is in Blender, you can basically undo the movement you actually make, which is a pretty cool feature, but it kind of does make the workflow a little bit more stiff. In Unity, you can also orbit around the game object by focusing on it. So you do that by pressing F once, respect, <laughs> then holding down Alt and the left mouse button at the same time and move the mouse. In Blender, it's kind of easier to do as you just hold down the middle mouse button while you're actually highlighting the game object and then move the mouse. So no need for focusing or extra keys. Now let's say we have made a 3D model and we now want to bring this into Unity. What are the best options and how exactly can we do it? So to export objects from Blender, we can go to File, Export, and pick FBX. FBX is the top recommended option for importing objects into Unity, and it's what I always use as well. And in this main window, you can obviously pick the destination of where you wish to export your object. So I've browsed to the assets folder of my Unity project already in here, so it will just export my cube there. What I'm gonna bring up here is the settings field. So I often enable the selected objects checkbox to export what I select. Then I turn on the apply transform option, which simply allows you to bake space transform into object data. This in basic words, I know this is like complicated programming language, whatever, but this basically means you won't be getting any unwanted rotations in Unity after importing the object. So basically the axis will be correct. And after we have done that, we can simply export our FBX. So now I'm going back to Unity. As I pick to export my object into the main assets folder, I can browse there in the project view and see my FBX file in here. I can now drag this into my scene view and we can see that all the rotations and stuff we made to our object, basically all the differences we applied like transform, rotation, scale, etc., actually applied thanks to the settings that we picked. Now, finally, let us imagine a case where we don't actually want the rotation to apply, right? And let's say we've made tons and tons of transformation, rotation, and scaling to our object in Blender and can't bother undoing everything at this point. Well, it's easy to fix. We can simply hold down Alt, then press the responsible shortcut for using the tool we use to modify our object and it will return to its default state. So say if we rotate the object like this, and then scale it up a little, but then we want it to return to its normal state, we can simply hold down Alt, then press R on my keyboard to reset the rotation, which is the shortcut I use for toggling rotation tool. Same with scale. So I can just hold down Alt and press the S key and it will clear scale. And now all that's left to do is just re-export the file just like we did before. All right, so that should hopefully give you an overview and a beginner's kind of guide <laughs> to how Blender can be used more efficiently with Unity. If you guys like this video and wanna see more 3D modeling related content, like I said before, please do leave a like on this video to show some support and hit the subscribe button to stay up to tune for new content. And also let us know in the comments if you have any features you would like to see, if you have any Blender 2.8 tutorials, Unity tutorials, whatever it might be. If you have any ideas, I'm all ears. Also right now we're setting up a game jam 
program for this community, which is going to be linked in the description, by the way. So make sure to join. It's going to be a lot of fun. And for those of you who haven't joined yet, we have a Discord server for this community. You can reach us at discord.gg forward slash polyrealm. I'm doing like this because the link is probably going to be here. <laughs> well, hopefully, because I usually point really wrong in the videos with my fingers and then it just kind of ends up being like at the top of the screen. <laughs> and the Discord is also going to be linked in the description box of this video along with the sponsor, Patreons and all that kind of stuff. So make sure to check those out. And now with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed your time watching. Um, I'm going to be super active in the comment section and in our Discord server. So I hope to see you guys there. Thanks for watching and have a good night and peace out. Hey